Hi, this is Manikanda. I am the mathematics lecturer. So previously worked as a faculty in Narayana Junior College and also worked as a school teacher in Delhi Public School in Hyderabad. My qualification B10. So today I would like to give the demo on trigonometry. So for that. Before going for this chapter, so what is trigonometry? What is the use of trigonometry? What is the applications of trigonometry? We need to know. Basically, trigonometry will get in 10th class and also inter first year or inter second year also. In first year, okay. So basically, what is the use of every chapter in the 10th or inter? So what we have the mathematics, what is the use of mathematics, we should know. So basically, mathematics is the queen of science and physics is the king of science. So mathematics and physics are both the inter interrelations will be there. So if you have confidence on trigonometry, so it depends on trigonometry, we can get the applications in sound chapter and also light chapter. And also we can use this trigonometry chapter in electricity also. So why because uh, trigonometry is nothing but three, uh, trigonom, trigonom is nothing but uh, time is three, gonom is uh, sides or angles, metric is measurements. So three sides or three angles measurement is nothing but trigonometry. Basically the use of trigonometry is we can use in the use this trigonometry to measure the heights of buildings and also to measure the heights of mountains and also we can use the measure the heights of tides. So we can measure measure we can to measure the heights of the tides in the oceans we can use the trigonometry. So basically in the trigonometry we can use Right angle triangle. A, B, C. Here I took the 90 degrees at B and I took C as the theta. Theta is nothing but angle. Here angle represents direction. Angle is nothing but direction. So here uh, we, we have to find out the some trigonometric ratios. Here trigonometric ratios are sin, cos, tan, cosecant, secant and cot. These six trigonometric ratios we can use in the trigonometry. So basically how do you find these ratios? By using right angle triangle. For that see, for the right angle triangle ABC of the matrices, AB, BC, C are the sides, angle A, angle B, angle C are angles. And also here, what are the angles will be 90 degrees. If one of the angles will be 90 degrees means that will be the right angle triangle. If the angles are less than 90, that will be the acute angle. If angles in between 90 and 90, that will be the obtuse angle. See, in this right angle triangle, I will cancel the side opposite to the angle theta. That is the opposite side. The side opposite to the angle theta is called opposite side. And the side opposite to the 90 degrees is called hypotenuse. And this one is called BC is called base. The, the side which is along with theta is nothing but base or adjacent side. Base or adjacent side. By using these three sides, we can measure the ratios values in terms of sides. For that, we have to find sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cot theta. How do you measure? See, sin theta. Sin theta is nothing but opposite side by hypotenuse. And then cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but adjacent side by adjacent side or base. Both are same. We can call opposite side as perpendicular also. Opposite side or perpendicular both are same. And also base or adjacent side both are same. This will be the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side in the right angle triangle. And then tan theta. Tan theta means in terms of theta, sin theta by cos theta, or uh, in 
terms of uh, size, if you divide sin theta by cos theta, so in terms of size, what we get? Hypotenuse, hypotenuse will get cancelled. So we will get opposite side by adjacent side or base. Next, cosecant theta. Cosecant theta means reciprocal of sin theta. Nothing but apply the volta of sin theta in terms of sides. So you will get hypotenuse by opposite side. Next, secant theta. Secant theta means reciprocal of cos theta. Nothing but hypotenuse by adjacent side. And then cot theta. Cot theta is nothing but reciprocal of tan theta or uh, cos theta by sin theta or uh, adjacent side by opposite side. Adjacent side by opposite side. These are the, these are the main uh, basic formulas for the trigonometry. So, Depends on the right angle triangle. We can measure the uh, we can measure the sides of the uh, sides of the triangle using the trigonometric ratios. Basically, what is the use of trigonometry? Is nothing but I told you already. We can measure the heights of the buildings. We can measure the heights of the mountains. We can measure the heights of tides in the ocean. So these are the main applications in trigonometry. See how can you measure the heights of buildings? I will tell you one example. Wait a second. Suppose this is the building. Some person is standing here. If the person is standing in front of the building, he want to measure the height of the building. For that, first of all, you need to know the distance between the person standing on the ground and the building. Suppose X. X meters, the distance between the foot of the building or foot of the tower or foot of the pole to the person standing on the ground is nothing but X. Suppose, I don't know the value of, suppose here I write A, B, C, okay now. But I know the how much angle he, he can see the top of the building. Suppose this is horizontal position, then we will get 0 degrees. If we increase the height, increase the head height, so it will increase the angle of the head with respect to with respect to horizontal position. That's why 0 degrees, 1 degree, 2 degree like that. So with respect to ground, with respect to ground, his head is how much angle we can measure. Okay now. So we know the angle here. Nothing but the angle between the horizontal road or horizontal uh, horizontal seat of the person and the foot of on the height of the building, top of the building is nothing but suppose theta. Theta we can know. So from that we can measure the height of the building. How do you measure? Why? Because by using we know the we don't know opposite side, we know adjacent side, we know the angle. So we can apply which one? Apply tan theta. Why? Because here we know we don't know the side, opposite side, we know the adjacent side. That's why we can apply tan theta only. Tan theta means what I already told you opposite side by adjacent side. For this theta we can uh, sign tan theta. So theta is the 30 degrees, 45 degrees. So the exact values will be there from the trigonometric table. I will tell you uh, how we got the trigonometric values. So before that, we should know heights of buildings how can you by using angle theta and also by using the distance between the foot of the tower and the person, we can measure the height of the building. Same like uh, mountains also. So if you know how much angle we can see the mountain height, so depends on that height, so depends on that angle, we can measure the height of the mountains and depends on the uh, distance between the foot of the mountain and the person standing in front of the mountain, so we can find out the heights of mountains also. Important concept is very uh, is there in trigonometry that is uh, uh, trigonometry quadrant operation trigonometry quadrant operation for this we can draw x axis and y axis this will be positive x axis this will be negative x axis, positive y axis, negative y axis and this will be horizon. Suppose the ray is making an angle theta 
Suppose the ray is making angle theta with the horizontal x axis. So here, suppose initially, initially the ray is making an angle along with the x axis. Suppose this is the x axis, along the x axis I took the one ray. Then the angle between the x axis and the ray will be 0 degrees. Is it correct or not? Why? Because both the x axis and also the ray are in a coincide. So in this coincide position, the angle will be 0 degrees. After that, I increase the angle. Nothing but 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, 4 degree, 5 degree, 6 degree, up to this will be perpendicular. Na? Perpendicular means 90 degrees. So the, this is the first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate, and then fourth coordinate. First coordinate is varies from 0 to 90 degrees. Second coordinate is starting from 91, 92, 93, 94, up to 180. So we can get 91 to 180 degrees will be the second coordinate. And then after 180, 181, 182, 183, up to 270. Again, we can add 90 degrees. Why? Because 90 plus 90 plus 90, 270 we are getting. So third coordinate is varying from 180 to 270. And then 271, 272, 273, up to 360 degrees. So we are getting one revolution. If the ray completes one revolution, is nothing but 360 degrees. Nothing but so the second, third coordinate, sorry, fourth coordinate is varying from 270 to 360 degrees. Second coordinate is varying from 90 to 180 degrees. And the third coordinate is varying from 180 to 270 degrees. In terms of theta, we can write the coordinates operation. So Q1. Q1 means what? Q1. Coordinate 1 is varies from theta to 90 minus theta. If I took theta 0, then 90 minus theta will be 90. So the first coordinate is varying from 0 to 90. Second coordinate. So we are getting 91, 92, 93. Second coordinate. That's why we can write. 90 plus theta to 180 minus theta. Why? Well, because up to 179 to 180 will be the second coordinate. That's why we can write 180 minus theta. And then coordinate 3. Coordinate 3 is starting from 181, 182, 183 like that. So we can write 180 plus theta to 270 minus theta. And then Q4. Q4 is nothing but 271, 272, 273 like that. So we can write 270 plus theta values to the so up to 360 degrees we are getting that's why we can write 360 minus theta see what we observe from this one uh, shortcut will be there to find the trigonometric ratios on silver t curves all means all trigonometric ratios are positive in the first quadrant all means sine, cos, tan, cosecant, secant, cot, all are positive in the first coordinate. First coordinate is varies from theta to 90 minus theta. All are positive. Next, second coordinate, silver. With silver, what we have sine and reciprocal sine will be cosecant. So we can write only sine of cosecant positive in the second coordinate. And then third coordinate. Third coordinate is nothing but T. T means with the T, what we have the ratio tan. So that's why tan, reciprocal tan is what? Cot. So tan, cot will be the positive, remaining the negative. And 270 plus theta to 360 minus theta is the fourth coordinate. Fourth coordinate we have cups. Cups is nothing but cos. And then reciprocal cos will be secant. So these two are positive in the fourth coordinate. So remaining are negative in the different coordinates. Suppose sine and cosecant positive, remaining are negative. Nothing but cosecant, secant, cot. Sorry, secant, cot, tan, all these are negative in the second coordinate. So only positive terms tan and cot will be positive remaining are negative. So these are the operations we can apply. How we apply and explain practically. So basically, see, I will tell you one practical example for trigonometry. Suppose, basically of the electrical engineer, so we are getting the motors and generators. When we are studying about the motors and generators, like single phase, single phase motor, single phase induction motor, uh, three phase induction motor, like this, uh, like this we have the motors or machines in the engineering. So basically, when you know about trigonometry perfectly, so you can apply some methods. Like uh, I will tell you one example. Here, basically in this chapter we are getting theta. Theta indicates direction. Suppose I have one motor. Suppose I have one motor. What is the use of motor which can, decre uh, which can decrease the uh, man-made uh, things like uh, we, can, uh, we can reduce the time of work by using motors. 
Suppose if the person is moving from one place to another place, so if the person is moving from one place to another place, by walk, if he reaches in the half an hour, by bicycle or by, by motorcycle, okay now, by car, he can reach within the 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So because of motor emissions, they can decrease the time. So time saving is uh, uh, time saving is very important for the machines and generators. Basically, suppose I want to rotate the motor. This is the motor. Suppose if I apply the force in the one particular place, this is the motor. If I if I apply the force in a particular direction, so the number of revolutions will be starting after applying maximum force. Yeah. Thanks to Ananda. This is the today's session. So next classes we will continue later and before that uh, one thing I want to suggest all members uh, or my students for, who, are, who will be joined for my classes. So we need to listen the classes in a practical way. So that is the main thing. What we listen, what we understood the concepts, we need to apply daily applications. That is very easy to understand. Okay ma'am. Thank you. Thank you Ananda.